That's welcome in Abenaki. My name is Chief Paul Gilawato Bunnell. Gilawato is Abenaki name for he searches for something. That is my uh, Abenaki name. Uh, we'll start with um, a smudging ceremony that we do in most of our meetings. And um, we use tobacco and sage and usually a, sh a shell and we have a blessing and send out good um, wishes to our spirits and to our family and our friends and we'll light it here with this and we have a little bit of the white purified smoke that we brush upon ourselves to cleanse our spirit and our body. And if we were standing, we would wash it all over our body in the back, all the way up and down our, our front and back. And with this, we, we bless our spirits and our, like I said, our family. And we uh, send out good blessings to our military people all those that are suffering from the virus and um and with this we do our blessing we usually use a feather we can use our hands if we don't have a feather and we bless all of our family our friends the world our trees our flowers our plants our animals and our sacred water and mother earth aho In class two, we have the regalia of the woodlands, chiefs hats. And uh, with that, we have different kind of hats. It's not the traditional ones that you see from the uh, movies where um, there's the big long headdress. For instance, the uh, different hats is the ones featured on my head is a chief's hat that has the feathers and each feather has a meaning. It's either been awarded to the chief or given to the chief as a gift. And these feathers are put in all over. So the bigger the hat, the more uh, uh, experiences the chief has had. So with that, I can actually show you the other style that's in the Northeast. This one here was made by our artist in our tribe and that's where the feathers are straight up and these are the beadwork here and uh as you can see it's quite different they stick straight up a lot of the headdresses in the northeast have the headdress of feathers sticking straight up um with that uh the next pictures i want to show you is a war bonnet which is the Western style Native Americans. And that's what you're mostly familiar with. Um, and th that's a war bonnet and it runs down the back. It's very long and beautiful feathers. Then the, um, the plain style war bonnet is a traditional big full one that you always see in the movies. Uh, that is the, um, the plain style. Then the next one is another plains one, but it's the horned headdress, which has the buffalo horns and the headdress and the garments coming down on the side with feathers. Uh, so with that, we have a uh, question and answer time. If you'd like to answer, 
Um, but before that, we do have, I don't have a slide on it, but we have the women had their hats were pointed straight up into a cone and they're very decorative, very beautiful. Um, a lot of a lot of beadwork and uh, stitching done on these, and then the the, the men had um, leggings, and the women had um, uh, like a poncho uh, cloth hanging all over them down like a dress in a way, and they um, uh, were all fully decorated, very beautiful uh, dress dresses and regalia. Uh, our next session is going to be class three, and it's regalia of the woodlands, the jingle dress, and the women's hats that I just mentioned. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next uh, episode in class three. Thank you.